Oh God. Guys, my washing machine got spoiled. In fact, I put all these, I put these clothes inside this washing machine to wash. And I found out that the ma washing machine stopped. It was not washing. Like, the thing was not just working. It's on. I pressed every necessary thing. And, but it will just keep rolling and it will stop. This happened yesterday. And yesterday we called the, the people we bought it from. Because it's still under guarantee. And they said they are coming to fix it. But... Till next tomorrow. How am I going? How am I going to wash all these clothes? This one is just the one inside the machine. There are still ones to wash here. guys this is <laughs> it has been a long time i did this i think I, I yeah i did it in nigeria when i i traveled it's not easy especially if you have many children like me hey she's also <laughs> nah, and they in fact, I don't even know how our mamas at village does that because you see people having eight children, nine children, and they will bring all the clothes and start washing, especially when the children are so young, like when they are so young. So I want you guys to keep me company. I want to be saying something while washing. I remember that time we are going to school. So, you know, our school uniform, we wore white and red. So, as you're wearing white now, you know, of course, every day, you'll be washing that clothes. And any day you didn't wash it, eh? You will just look like, you will think the white is clean. But then all an assemble, you will just look like <laughs> someone from, <laughs> from another planet. So, at a time. My daddy got me another white, another school uniform. And you know, when you have even two self, it's not still easy. Because you, at a time, you find out that the two are dirty. <laughs> and sometimes you'll be so tired that you forgot to wash it. So you go and sleep, not knowing that you've not washed your clothes. My parents, eh? they are very straightforward people. They discipline us there. Eh? <laughs> My father is that one that he's on that side of talking to you and all that. My mother is on that side of bass bulls. <laughs> but any day my father will handle you. <laughs> you even want my mother to be the one handling you. I was that bass bulls when I was in Nigeria. But when I came here... <laughs> The law, huh? You can discipline your child in many ways. Do you know there are children that are not even afraid of your parents again? Not really afraid. Like, they don't care whether you want to beat them or not. But one thing you should know is that children are children. No? They will definitely behave like one. Beating a child is not an effective way to bring about positive behavior in that child yeah our researchers say that physical punishment can affect the child mental health there are times that this beating beating eh just keep it yeah mazi we that are raised our children in a place where they don't beat about one sometimes not at the mouth but it doesn't change the child's behavior. You know what it does? It will just like, yeah, after all, when I do it again, it's just flogged. They will flog me. I've seen children that said, yes, is it not flogged? They will flog me. My mama will just flog me. After some time, everything is gone. And it doesn't stop the child from doing those things. And you find out that that child 
will now start being disrespectful, will now start behaving abnormal and start doing things that are not right. Children should be children. You don't expect a seven years old child to start behaving like a 15 years. You don't also expect a 10 years old child to just start behaving maturely like adults. It's not possible. They must be doing those things. They may have to be a child in abroad. We don't beat our children. One thing that it makes us to understand our children more, draw you very closer to the child to understand why does this person do this? We don't beat them, eh? but it brings us more closer to them. And you'll be able to know as a parent that the way you treat this child or the way this child understands is not the way this one understands. That's just the truth. Your children are different. The way they understand things are different. Oh, well, there are children that you shout at. They will reposition themselves. There are children when you scream from today to tomorrow, they don't get it. Like they will be surprised, but why are you shouting? And the beating them all the time can increase aggression on the children. There is a way you will discipline a child, eh? If we, the person will, will turn around. We have positive discipline. A discipline you can give a child and it doesn't affect the child in any way. Like rewarding good behavior. You tell them, when you do this like this, when you do this like this, I will give you something. When you pass your test, I will give you. When you do this one, I will give you. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter how we pass this. It doesn't matter whether when you mad, when you mad, or pass scenario, or pass here, reward the person. That rewarding them, eh? It's, it's, it goes along setting clear boundaries and then providing support, like you support them, set boundaries. This is what to do. This is where you stop. This is how you do it, you know, and still support this child. It's not easy. I'm telling you, <laughs> communicate to this child all the time and be able to tell them the implications of what they are doing, you know. This thing you are doing, look at where it's going to lead you. Look at what you, are, what you are expecting when you behave like this. Communicate with the child. Be friend with the child. This thing sometimes, eh, with time, the person will overgrow it. They always overgrow some behavior. There are times you keep talking, talking, talking. You are nurturing them. You are teaching them. Understand that this is the work. This is where your parental role comes in. Talk to them, let them understand your point and make your point clear. Some people, they will just come, ah, boom, finish. The child did not even understand single thing from what you say. The child didn't even get one thing from what you say. The child will just be there moping. Oh, my mom is not, my daddy is angry. Oh, this one and that one. But the truth is that. When you make yourself clear to the child, when you communicate, sometimes when they do something wrong, just leave it. Hmm? At a particular time. So at that particular time, you talk to them, you let them know the gravity of what they did. You understand what they have to say because every child has something you want to say. Don't shut them up. Listen to them, understand them. And then from there, you will know what to say and what not to say. So look into the kind of friends your child keep, the kind of friends they follow. Get to know because most times what children display, eh, most times is what their friend, what they saw their friend doing. And also check the kind of things your, your child watch. There are things in the movie. There are particular movie they watch that the, the person, the movie, or the cartoon is always aggressive. When you are not observant, at a point, the thing in the cartoon, eh, it will, you will start seeing your child reflecting those characters that they show in the cartoon. Be dear from your children. A lot of people in Africa, they are not there for their child. They just went out. When you come back, carry food from under the table and give we eat. Give your brothers. And you people should change your uniform and go and play. Be there for your child. The time you have to talk to these children are now that they are small. 
there is a time this child will get to you can't even talk tell tell him or her stop there now you can bend them to any character you want now is your time and use it well a lot of mothers don't even talk to them hey, leave them they are my only son <laughs> leave them he's my only daughter oh, don't touch her hmm. it's my dear ba. and you forgot the role you should play as a a mother or a father and you left the child the child and may be misbehave a time will come eh? the behavior will change how he talks to you he will start disrespecting you he will not even regard you as anything so i tell all the parents now your child is small kuzelo hmm? teach them they are small they don't know anything no. explain to them always explain that's why i answer every question that my children ask me i answer if i don't know what to say that particular moment or maybe i can't answer the question that particular moment i will tell them okay ask me this question in the next 20 minutes or ask me this question later i will answer you you know i will now start fixing on what to say i will start saying okay thinking on what to say because they can ask some questions be there for them let them know that you love them correct them that you are there for your child doesn't mean you can't correct your child hmm? correct them when they did it wrong flogging them always can spoil that child hmm. you go and ask all these people all these stout people stout people most of them when they were small so flogging them will not help them they will continue doing it to keep talking eh? punishment punishment hmm? so guys i'm so happy that i was able to <laughs> i was able to say i was able to say this is i'm almost to just a little then i will rinse it and I'll hang it. Thank you so much for helping me wash. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think that beating will change a child? Or do you think that there are still things that will change a child apart from beating? Give this video a thumbs up. Eh? Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in our next video. Bye.